Hi, this is Trivial Punk. And this is Boris the Olithid. And we're playing Psychonauts. Uh, we already got some gameplay in on this, well, a couple minutes. And then it sort of decided to crash on us. We was trying this again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to the first loading screen in the game and it was like, nah. You don't need a load a game. What's so, wrong with you? I think it's the yellow one. Yeah. Get over there. And most of the controls of this game is like, Everything you think you it's going to be. Six hundred mm -hmm. miles. Upset if I skip this. Fiber. I think so. Five and a half ounces of cranial fluid. I'm just hoping it doesn't crash the game again. If it does, then we'll just well, we have B-roll of this. Matter. It's true. Um, some of it. We have enough, and we can just skip it afterwards. But um, in the meantime, what it really is. It did, uh, is the were, were you were you playing games when this came out? And the sort of. Um, I remember playing this game, not when it was new, but I remember borrowing it from a friend and getting some distance into it, but this was like more than a decade ago. From this day wow. You are all psychic That's soldiers. weird to think. Yeah, I don't know. This game is more than a decade old. Mental Marines who yeah, are about this is to ship out on the yeah. adventure yeah. of their lives. Yeah, no, that would have been at least this a decade ago when I played it, and I didn't even beat the game, and I got and ways into it in the game. Is your landing craft? Got stuck. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. Yeah, this game you has really weird dreams. difficulty curves. You like, fight his it'll demons. be like. Easy, you easy, and then it'll like spike like a motherfucker. And those of you who fight well, like, it's kind of got like a, it's kind of got a cult following a little bit. Yeah, I think it's a, uh, I think when people who like it, they know about people like it. But for people who don't know about this game, it was really uh, underrated when it came out. Like hardly anyone played it. I remember reading in a magazine top ten games you never, best game you never played was the. Uh, Subcaption we gave this game because oh, it was very undersold. This is an excellent game. It's amazing. Like well, one of the things that Double Fine does so well is well characterization. Mm -hmm. they told me this was like a we did, a, I, I did, a, I did a bit of a rant <laughs> last time about um, Dogen, don't worry about how well each one of these Oleander. characters was brought across, with just just how they looked, and trust like me, the little tin foily hat dude. Yeah, Dogen. And like the only person that you looks normal is like the, the girl. So you know she's like, yep, you know, just like a normal person. And then looks like this crazy guy with his like yeah. something a little bit off about him. His jersey. He's taller than everyone. He's one of those like guys who like when they were young they spread it up really quick and became kind of like a bully. And there's and there's this dude in the trees. And that, like, we don't scare <laughs> oh yeah, the sweet potato looking motherfucker, with like, and the only Modelo. thing that stops him from looking like a talking potato is that little, like, triangle beard. And Agent 9, the like, molder looking motherfucker, you can Resisting. His scarf and his, like, guarded appearance. Here. Yeah. Except for his, like, one hair out of place and lets you know he's kind of let himself a little bit go. What Pretentious, but hold it on. It's just a little boy. And the, the female, What's I can't remember name, her name. Daddy? She's so well put together. I'll find out. Yeah. Get, get in! My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. I like all these, like, psychic but jokes they put in. Mm -hmm. Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! And, like, the body language in this Completely. game is really good, too. Mm -hmm. Armored like a it had a really good facial Sorry, animation for its time, like, to convey emotion. To well, it's because it's cartoonish, right? Yeah, Agent it's just, like, even cartoonish. Please. Like, at the time this came Continue. out, the uh, ability to convey feelings without dialogue, just, like, purely, like, in their face, like, like recognizable emotion. Remote government even in it, sometimes it's like, really flawed. Well, yeah, because, like, even, like, today, Listen, we're going for hyper-realistic in a lot of places, and it, they're not quite good <laughs> at it yet. Like, uh, some games do it really well, and we some games... This young man take it, it, here immediately. Uh, I'm trying to think of a I'll really good example friends. where I just what? couldn't tell what the emotions but on their faces were. Don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling. I played it recently. Soar across the astral plane My first thought was like Skyrim. Oh, yeah, fucking Skyrim. Like, one of the that games where you spend, like, three quarters of it, like, like full profile right on their face. Yeah. 
Do and you you're remember like, that's where it stands out the most. Yeah, like the games like that where you're always interacting you with people. It's like, uh, what does that facial expression mean? Or sometimes they'll say something like and they'll like curse. have to say it in like a your cheerful way. And then like their face just like contorts into anger afterwards because they hate you. Yeah. Like the guards are bad for that. It's like, they'll be chasing, I'm going to kill you. And you talk to them, what can I do for you, citizen? And you can show them all. It's really weird. But I think it's the organic nature of the game. Like this is all really pre-scripted. Yeah. A circus freak, but in this dojo. In so this Raz, Raz ran away from dojo. the circus. Yeah. They make a lovely you play on the classical trope. Hero. Style. That's still kind of a. Do, is, it, do, is that a thing that Get still happens? That are there still circuses? Fuck. I know there are still circuses. Yeah. Is that just? Is that still a thing people talk about? Is running away to the circus. Oh, darling. I don't know, actually. I know, like, people will probably understand. They'll probably understand if you say, like, I want to run away to the circus. But I think now it would be like, I want to run away to Blizzard. California. <laughs> I'm going to run away and join a game development company. You can't stop me, Mom. Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Actually, yeah, what would be the equivalent? What do you guys think the equivalent would be? Post in the comments, the way Boris said. Yeah. I have Shameless, a plugs. To be something. Shameless plugs. Shameless plugs. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? They may come for me, Dogen. I have no idea. But they'll be Modern equivalent is running away to the, the circus. Boy. It may still find. be running away to the circus. I just what they I don't, don't know expect. Anymore. I don't know. I think circuses have a lot of respect Raz, now. The psycho like, I, I think like classically um, like circuses were more of a freak no. show thing, and do that's do long, that? I think no. changed. Well, like, well, I mean, what at circus, least, like at the least attractions of a circus have changed. Like the now social implication of animals. Like, because they've always been really high skill. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. But, but like, there was always like, he come check out the bearded lady. Like I've I've never that's still a thing anymore. So yeah, I don't think so. If I could Actually, I, don't I haven't been to a circus in years. Yeah. Yeah. Sure well, last time I went to a circus, there were like 900 chairs stacked on top of each other with like one person balancing an egg on their toe, flipping around. I was like, are you human? This is amazing. You're like, why aren't you running this country? <laughs> you, I have been totally swayed by your ability to stand on chairs. There we go. See, now we're, now it's working. Excellent. This well, what should we, way. what should we call her? Shall we call her bunk? Yeah. Hmm. Can we just call him Raz? We could just call him Raz. That way, I wouldn't have to clack along the keyboard. It could be Pumperfuckle. It's pretty good too. <laughs> I don't know. There's enough room for Pumperfuckle. <laughs> I think, I think we'll just go with the classic here. Let's, let's stick with Raz? Yeah. The man of the classics. Right. Enter. I, I have to. I have to. Click! Yeah. Perfect. Just start thinking up funny games. <laughs> if you have a better name, post it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, we don't like making decisions. <laughs> we won't rename it or anything, but we'll be interested for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you should do. <laughs> I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! <laughs> Turbo dream sequence. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. It's fucking... Huh? Look over that way if you will. Wow, what's that? Dude, oh, I can't even imagine using the mouse controls for the this. The <laughs> these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. You know what I love? is like, now look up for me how if they're you not afraid to be nonsensical. Mm -hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around like, loose. It's a floating eye with cards and it sparkles. Put them together That's to make really a brand not. new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a Psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks Stealthy so Stealthy motherfucker. Mm -hmm. He looks like mm -hmm. Einstein combined with um, Doc Brown. Just any old white guy with white hair. <laughs> hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic, basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! So all the controls I are exactly the same. I heard. Oh, 
try like, try the buttons eventually to find them. Hi, what's the rush? You don't want to be late. Coach has anger Hi. management issues. What's the rush? Basic training. I told you. Hi. This is actually what's nice. I'm not rotating the camera here. It was doing it on its own. I just, yep. I just held forward. Hey, where are you going, Malou? Shh. I snuck out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out and take mine. I don't need them anymore. They're kind of I'm like if you want to escape the level. Yeah. I, get hurt. I like how they Nate. use all of the mechanics. They, they disguise them as things very well. Yeah, they reinforce the theme as opposed to going against it. Yeah, it, like, it could be like fourth wall breaking Deadpool up, bullshit, uh, but it's like... There. Well, you'll be it's like, hey, like this is tea. dragging you farther into and the world. I think the only reason Deadpool gets away with it is because dragging you out of the world is dragging well, you into the world. Yeah, that's kind of his thing. Terms, you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. It's like when like you play old JRPGs like the where like the save game. thing is like a floating <laughs> floppy disk in like, an otherwise fantasy setting, <laughs> and you're like, oh okay, I guess so. <laughs> I guess this is a floppy. Disk. It's like a glibbery floppy disk. It's a like, magical uh, glyph. I don't know a game. I totally saw that in a game I was looking at recently. I do not remember what it was though for the life of me. It was an older game. The magical glyph platform. Well, people even know what a fucking floppy disk is. Like, like, like. Let's see, like say you you start gaming now. You're like six years old. You see this like archaic looking fucking. Son, you realize that to take my course. I think the only reason you would is because of Microsoft Word still uses a floppy disk. It's true. Yeah. It's used in applications as well as games. Memory of every battle I have ever faced. Be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? You should do that. Well, maybe I will explore. Because you can a bit find like the things. Just so I'm prepared for class. No hurry, no hurry. Enjoy your childhood before it's ripped away from your son. I like this guy. Hey, Chloe. What are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. <laughs> what? I think I can do it. Bam! He's talking nonsense. <laughs> slap, slap some sense into him. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Whoops. Sorry. I'll take a screenshot. <laughs> He's gonna save it. Good. They seem to all be in a trance while they ask them to project themselves into the Okay. There's like collectibles and stuff littered around the camp we could get so you can get used to the controls. Sounds good. Which is awesome. I have a double jump. Excellent. Yep. Things you forget after jump. a decade. Yeah, like when was the last time I played a game with a double jump? I'm telling you for the last time, no. I would never do that. I could never Kill everyone. Oh, I rest. I like this. This kid Squirrel seems trouble. nice. The liars is off. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. Mm. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there as soon as I get these guys to shut up. What are you looking at, nut rat? Shut up! Nut rat. Whoa! Oh, man, I feel terrible about that. What the hell? <laughs> Raz looks confused, as confused as I feel. Alrighty then. <laughs> he blew them all up with his mind. I see. I found a psych card. You collect nine of them and buy a marker, and it gives you a thing. And then you need a psych card. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that guy was talking about. Oop. Oh yeah, you can you pull up arrowheads out of the ground and use them as currency. Sweet. Titanium. You're made of titanium. Why not? There's a whole bunch of them just hanging out, I guess. Yeah, they also um, respawn. Cool. The Whispering Rockers. Oh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? The Whispering Rockers. Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class she last like year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. 
Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. I'm just changing yeah, the story. In because the they were late <laughs> for class. You better hurry, kid. She, she, does, does she now, not look like a fish? Now, where are we, Quinn? She looks a lot like a fish. And by worse, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worse, as in I can't even believe we're friends. It's so bad. I love, like, this weird combination of, like, Tim Burton and Tim Shaper. You think it's a Tim thing? Maybe. Like I've never been named Tim, so I have no idea. But like maybe it's like a like a Tim thing. Come in, Polarisma Australia. Like shit to explore. I love this guy. You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive. Giant, hairless bear? Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see any. Cannot lurk forever, bear. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> I love that guy. The other weird thing about it is like playing a game that still has a live system. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I was grinding down that. Yeah, that's one of the things you do. There's a lot of like really good motion mechanics in this game. Interesting. Oh, whoa. And visit that entity if possible. Too much. There's a jumpy McJumpy pad. Jumpy McJumpy pad? Yeah, jumpy. Oh. You're correct. There are a lot of things to. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. It helps you like learn all of the movement systems. Because remember, Raz is from the circus. Yeah. Probably would help if you were a psychic in the circus with the double jump. Yeah, it would. Definitely. Oh, you don't want to get off the rope. That's not happening. Okay. Wait, there's a thing in the house. Maybe this one? Or... Yeah. See, it's all glowing. Hey, there's a thing there. So many things! All of the things. Collect them all. I mean, there's a lot of card collecting games coming out too. Mm -hmm. At some point, they realize so, they love collecting cards. You're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna. Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come on. She seems nice. Hi. What's the rush? Um, some of us care about our education. Get the outhouse. Right. What's the, the rush? Yeah, I don't want to get a bad house. seat. Oh, that was interesting. Is there like a access button? There it is. Good to know. I've already got like eight cards. That's like enough for a rank then. Almost. Yeah, there's a... Behind where you were up there before, there's, a, there's like another thing. Oh, look, swingy jiggers. Yeah, I'll watch that. Yeah, I will. Hopefully people don't mind me running around for like 10 minutes. Well, I mean, probably if I had some interesting things to say. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, actually, when I, I first started, I um, when I uh, when this game came out, actually, I was working in a, uh, a used game store. Uh, and, well, it was like used and new. And my, my boss kept going on about it, but I actually never got around to playing the damn game. <laughs> and I could play it for free was like the tragic part about it. Oh look, a whole level. A whole rank up. Suddenly I'm rank 2. Oh yeah, when we get to rank 10 we get a new Psy Power. Worth noting, if you fall too far you can't double jump. 
Yeah. And so, like, I, I could have played the game, and I wanted to play the game, but I just never did. So years later, space plane to meet you in I, like, right before I was done, I was like, I should buy the game. So I bought the game. And I still never played it, because, you know... Because <laughs> of, you know, things and just, stuff. Just because, really. Just because, and, uh... I really wanted to. Alright, well, let's get some you of this sure started. You Do you want to switch up? Sure. The uh, well, thanks for watching the intro to Psychonauts. We'll be getting into the meat of the game next time. We've almost started. We've almost started playing. <laughs> this has been Trivial Punk. And this is Boris the Elephant. And I'll see you on the other side. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber. Five and a half ounces of cranial fluid. 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa. Light monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. 
to wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda. But... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. <laughs> 